Where is it going now? Oh, I am live now. So just, it's named a little gift box. And I need my flowers. Hi, everybody. Right, where's your flowers? Underneath, by the way. Oh. Um, while I'm waiting for everybody to join us, I think I'm mm -hmm. going to cut some leaves, Chris. Yeah? I Some think plan. that's what I'm going to do. Oh, my God, this machine's heavy. Um, While I'm waiting for everybody to join us. My channel, isn't it? Oh, Making a little gift box. It should be a picture. I'm hoping that there's a picture. <laughs> if you're around, um, I can now see the chat. Hi, Lynn. How are you doing? Um, how is everybody? Like I say, if you're there, pop a little comment in the chat box and let me know. Um, and we're gonna make we're gonna make a little gift box. Um, hi Polly, hi Betty, Clet and Chris. Oh yeah. Hi Angie. I'm good, thanks. How are you, sweetheart? Well, how am I? I am on top of the world at the minute. I. Well, I'm giving this piece of paper. I received my car. Well, I didn't receive it. I went to pick it up, of course. Her name's now Betsy. I've named my car, I know. And we picked her up yesterday from Cardiff, which is half an hour from us, which meant I had to go on the motorway. And I was all right. Hi, Angie Brown. Um, I was fine. Uh, what motorway? Me nervous at the motorway. What motorway? <laughs> I was totally fine. I just drove. <laughs> um, my mum showed me how to sort of empty onto the motorway, and then after that, I was. She, she was so relaxed that she was sat in the car texting on the phone. So I was completely and utterly fine. Um, so that was yesterday. So we came back. We went to the harvester. Of course, celebration meal had to be done. And then we went back to my mum's where I showed everybody the car. My brothers were like, oh, 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 oh. My big sister's now got a car. So my brother came down and he said, oh, mum, mum, will you, um, I need to go to Cardiff. He said, uh, tonight, I need somebody to drop me off Cardiff. And I went, I'll drop you. And he looked at me and went, ah, um, ah, uh, um. He was like really nervous. You could see all the nerves dreaded on his face. Dare he ask me like. So anyway, his big sister took him to Cardiff. And as we were driving down the motorway, dropping him off, he turned to me he went, I'm really enjoying this ride, Clyde. Thank you for taking me down to Cardiff. I'm like, not a problem. Not a problem at all. So that was yesterday. Uh, today, I am stopped driving. I've been in the car and Chris is like, you know you got a live tonight? I'm like, yeah, I know I got a live tonight. He's like, you, you got a live tonight, man? Clat. I went, yeah, I know I got a live tonight. So we, Chris woke me up this morning. He's like, go and Clat. Um... Are we going out? Not that I was laying in bed, leaning, because I want. He just wanted to go out. So I think I'm going to get nagged now to go out. That'll be the next thing. Um, And we went out. We went to Halfords. Halfords is like a, a DIY car mechanic shop. And I got my mats. Mm -hmm. Um, had to get my mats, of course, and guess what colour they are? Have a guess. Can anybody guess what colour they are? Glad you got home safe. Oh, my car's called Betty Lark. There we are, ceiling. Me and you are on the same wavelength. As pink, yes. A two Angie said just said pink. Yes, it is pink. So you both know me quite well. It is pink. Um, so I got the cut, I got the mats today in half foot and I got the, um, grip strap things to go on the seat belts and I got like a little Hawaiian girl. She sat on my dashboard smelling beautiful and what else did I get? Oh, Chris bought a little gadget for my phone. Um, I 
I've got something else and I'm trying to think what else I got. I got something else I can't think now. Is it bright pink? It is pink and black. I couldn't get bright pink. Oh, I'll tell you what I got. I was really looking for it to all match. And you want, I couldn't get it to match. So what I could get was pink and black mats. The strap things to go on the seatbelt, they were to match the mats. But I couldn't get the, I wanted some dice. I've always wanted dice for the car. So, but I couldn't get pink ones. So they like a, a mint green kind of colour. So I said, Chris, this is for you. This is why I'm getting green just for you. So you don't feel any... You don't feel as if I'm getting everything pink. This is just purely for you. Not the fact that I couldn't match it in. Just purely for Chris. <laughs> so when I'm cutting these leaves out, I'll be able to tell you a little bit more. And what else did I do? I, and yeah, so we got the uh, mats. We got the dice. We got the Hawaiian U. Chris bought a little gadget for my phone, like I say. And then after that, it was the opposite end of the town. Claire, where have you hung your dice? Where have I hung my dice? Well, my dice... When I picked the car up yesterday, Mum has put some rosemary wreaths in the centre of my car. And it looks really, really nice. Um, so she's hanging them in the car. So my dice is just behind the middle mirror sent on this is called the rear bin the rear mirror so it's just behind that and my wine girls on the dashboard and oh i i bought a couple of stickers for the car i know kids these little stickers i've got like a man and a woman and then they've got a cat a dog fish and all the different pets you can possibly have and I thought, well, that that is just like suit to us to the to the ground. So I picked them up. So on Chris's side at the back, he's got the picture of the man with the cats around him. And on my side, I've got the picture of me, supposedly me, with the dogs around me. So that's the stickers. And then we went shopping. Um we went to Aldi's, which, like I say, this was the opposite side of town. Why didn't you make some? Why didn't I make what? Dice. Yeah, I could have, if I had thought about it. You know, you can't see anything I'm doing at the minute. I'm just cutting some leaves out while I'm yakking to you. Um, yeah, I could have made some. Angie, you're probably right. Um, what else did I do? So we, we went to Halfords, then we went shopping. Uh, we actually went to, ooh, where do we go? Aldi's. And I got some boxes for my room. And coming out, I said to Chris, oh God, do you know, this is gonna, this is gonna cost a bomb in taxi getting back home. And he went, he sort of looked at me, and he knew we could. He knew he was. He was actually thinking about it, and then it dawned on him. Then the car was sitting outside. It was so funny. So when we did that, we came home. We banged the cars. Oh, before we went shopping, that was right. Chris went down to get the veg because every Saturday we have like a veg and a meat man down the road. So we go the veg, and then after he got the veg. Of course, I had to wait for him and show my new car off. Um, I posted Polly's parcel off. So, Polly, your parcel's on its way to you. And then we went shopping. And then after that, we went shopping. We banged the cars in the house. And then um, we literally... Um, we haven't been in the house half an hour. We've come back from taking the dogs to the sea. And that is my day. And it'll probably be the same tomorrow. Clet. You do know you are not allowed to hang anything from your mirror. You can you can be told to remove them. And if someone hits you, the police can... I didn't know that. 
I'll have to hang them from me. All right, okay. I'll have to remove them then. I'll have to put them on my on my side. My dice isn't in the middle. Ish. It's not in the middle ish. It's not hanging from the mirror. I'll have to remove the and just remove the I didn't realise that. Silly really when you think about it. But I suppose yeah. Hmm. I'll have to remove them. Thank you for telling me, Polly. I didn't even realise that. So we came back from shopping and we where, where did we go? The sea. And I took the we, well, we all took the dogs for a walk. Chris took the dogs for a walk. I sat in the car and watched Andrew Paisley's video by the sea of her opening my gifts. And that was it. I'm going to crack one more and then I can crack on with the project I got in mind. Have you got my box? No, Angie, I haven't got your box. If I did, I would have made a video. So that was my day. Tomorrow, um, I'm going at my mum's. I am going for chicken dinner. So we're having chicken dinner tomorrow. So I'm looking forward to that. And yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. So tonight, tonight's little project. Now, like I say, I haven't been in the house half an hour, so this is why you see me cut some leaves out. But I will. Then you want four leaves. Um, right. Now I've got them out the way. I can move this to one side and move there for a second. Right, I've got some leaves that you've just seen me cut out for myself. Thank you for posting my sparse parcel. We'll hope you're very welcome, okay? Don't want you to be pulled up for it. No. Thank you for telling me, Polly. It's all right. I will. I will. I know what I can hang them. I've got one of those um little hanging coat hanger things in the back. I, I got another place for them where they can be hung. Where they won't be a distraction. And the policeman can't tell me off. So I've got some of these. Now the little gift box I had in mind. Now, has anybody ever seen these? They are match boxes. Now you can they come in a pack four, like so. And these are medium match boxes. They're by Doe Crafts. But I actually had them from, it was either the range of the works. They weren't expensive. They were about a pound for the pack of four. Hi, Sonja. Um, so they're not expensive at all. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to make a little gift box. It's coming up to Christmas. And I thought, you know, I've got some new things to play with. Um, that I've been keeping under wraps until they came. So they came this morning. So, um, I thought we'd play about with them. Now, um, I've cut some leaves out. Got my matchstick box, my matchstick box, my matchbox, rather. Now, I need some papers. Now, I have... To... Oh, yeah. I have two papers here. Not yet, not yet. No, that's fine. Honestly. Right, I've got two sets of papers. I've got Once Upon a Springtime. Thank you to Angie Paisley for introducing me to Graphic 45. And I have Lee Rum and K, whatever it's called. It's, gra it's Graphic 45 paper. So, I want to decorate the box. Now, the colours I'm going to play with are purples and blues okay so i want something to go with my purple and blue now i'm going to use this one i think this stamp in fact for inside the box i think we think that's what i'm going to do so i'm going to take this one out i 
and because I want something oldie worldy for the outside um, let me see mm, oldie worldy mm, the key to my heart maybe then I think that will be nice because I'm using purples and blues so I'm going to use keys and then we'll see where we go okay now my box measures it says medium can you email where you find your paper on eBay because I don't know how to find it in the comments right I I had it from that seller that I told you all about I'm gonna plug my glue one in but all you need to type into eBay is graphic 45 how to spell that literally that just type that into eBay and all the different papers will come up um, I just asked I, because I bought from the seller before I just asked him whether he had some in stock and he just had a couple in stock and these were the couple that he had in stock now I'm not saying that he's he might get some in for you I don't know but um, if you tap graphic 45 into eBay it'll come up like that loads of them will but just be careful on the price um, right so my little box that's what we were doing I'm going to take the inside out for the minute because we don't need the inside a second now, my little box measures just under three inches can you everybody see that there's my three and it's just under three inches now each matchstick box it's got like a double-sided thing to it i'm going to take mine apart okay so i've now got a big piece and they're all they 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 put together all they put together by is double-sided tape now because it's a gift box i would hate for somebody to take the box off me and the box just to go like that because it's at the end of the day they're plain boxes so the double-sided tape is going to be loose i didn't know whether you did i didn't know what to spell graphic to be honest with you right so what i'm going to do because i want the key section of my paper I'm not gonna I don't want the trim I just want the keys lay my my box down so I've opened it up I've laid it down and I'm just gonna mark out the end of my box okay oops 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 so like I say, we've been driving all day today and I've loved every second. I love my car. I think I am in love. My neighbour came out to me today and she went, Oh, 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 you, oh, oh you've got a new car or oh, somebody got a new car. Are they for you? And I went, no, no, it's me. I said, and she's like trying to stick her head in the car. I said, no, no, it's my car. All right, all right. And you saw, you could tell she knew it was my car. But she was really trying hard. I went, oh, yes. I say, it's so nice to have mm -hmm. a, car, a car of my own on my own drive. And she just looked at me. Because a couple of months ago, she was out the front. Um, <clears throat> not saying nice things about the fact I didn't have a car. I, I, didn't, I was wasting up the street by not having a car on my own drive. But today, she was, oh, oh, all oh, right, oh. I was like, yep, mark your card, yeah. Are they 12 by 12? I have a scrapbook finally. It was a gift from my baby girl, Vanya, taking care of the kids every Tuesday. Um, they, These are 8 by 8. The papers I'm using are 8 by 8, I think. How do I tell it? Yeah, they eight, eight by eight double sided. But you can. Angie bought me a big massive one, twelve by twelve one. But the ones I'm using are eight by eight, only because the matchbox is only little, 
and I am um, I've gone into a habit of if I don't need to use the big paper I won't because it's nice paper so if you can get away with it being small use the small paper if you can get it if you can't use the big paper that's my key anyway that's sort of my if that's the way I'd work but if you've only got 12 by 12 and you bought 12 by 12 then use 12 by 12 so I've only got the keys section now I want to do the inside of my box too so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut another one out so again flat on the flat on the paper mark your paper And again mark it up here straight so we're going to take the dogs back down the beach tomorrow they really really loved it my dogs were jumping to, to, um when they came when when I, we came in for them and they're actually really quiet tonight and chris is going they're really quiet you know and i'm like yeah that's what ca does for you okay thank you so i'm marking it so I, when you open it when i open when i open a little gift box right i always like to see well when i open something whether it be a gift box or just a normal box i'm always keen to see whether the inside has been papered or not or whether the inside has been decorated because as pretty as this is going to be i hope um if you're if say we put the box together now and they take that out right and you you're going to see this bottom bit by the time they've taken the drawer out you're going to see that whereas if that was in there and it was rolled up right and we had the drawer in there you're going to see the keys you can ink it and um, the inside you don't necessarily have to cut papers out but but i think i'm going to get papers out now who and what right i um right so who's not my double-sided paper cut the paper um tape can't find it they must be tired did you have fun Claire? did we have fun we had loads of fun um chris is tired out he hasn't been out so many times in one week bless him but no he's had loads of fun i'm having loads of fun with the car Ooh, right Chris, if you want my double-sided tape, 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 tape. What? Well, can you come and help me look? Please. Chris is going to come and help me look because I can't see it. Was it me who took your tape? Yeah. There we are. I'm going to blame Polly. No, I'm going to blame, blame Chris. Chris, why did you take my tape for? Wow. You've been crafting again. To, I wanted to stick your mouth together, but it didn't work because the double side sticky tape don't, don't, <laughs> don't, don't stick. Funny. Sugar. Right. I'm going to do double sided tape. And the thickness I'm using this tape is. Wrong side, Claire. It would help. Is. Half an inch. This is half an inch. Polly gave it back to her. Hi, Shirley. I hope you're feeling better. I know Shirley hasn't been well. Right, I am going to stick this right on the edge because it is going to come undone if it's not stuck right to the edge. And there. See? 
Now you can make these matchboxes. You don't necessarily have to go out and buy them. Hi Claire. Hi Chris. Hi Claire. Wrote you. Wrote, wore you out. Oops, that didn't. That didn't sound good. Sandra. Did Claire will wear you out? How is the car? Uh, Shirley, I was just telling everybody the car is absolutely amazing. And yes, I have worn Chris out. Oh, for sure. Taking him out. I said to Chris, I said, um, earlier I said, should we go out, Chris? Should we go out for an hour later and, and you know, go and watch the sea? Because I love watching the sea. It's one thing I love doing. And uh, he went, Colette. I went, yeah. He went, I'm, I'm too tired. I went, Chris, come on now. You went, Claire, no, honestly, I'm, I'm too tired. I can't move. I can't move anywhere tonight. I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> didn't mean, didn't mean to say that, sorry. Oh, but Sandra, what? What do you mean you didn't mean to say what? Right, so I'm working on the inside now. The outside can wait a second. I have some new materials. So, now my paper isn't scored. To help it with the tape, because if I put that on there now and try and bend it, what's going to happen is either the sticky tape isn't going to connect with the paper and when I close it, it's going to have a gap. So if I go close it now, right, say I've closed it all up, can you see those corner gaps, as I call them? That's because I haven't scored my paper. So, to score your paper, you need a pencil. Now, we know this, this that we cut out is six inches by three, okay? Now, six by three it on top and I'm just going to mark with my pencil where it is and then I'll tell you where on the ruler it is so there's four one two three four lines yeah four lines I've got some um, new lace well new trim rather that came uh, was it yesterday the new trim came and today my new colours came. And I don't mean cosmetic shimmer. I mean, sh they have got a shimmer to them, but they're not cosmetic shimmers. I'll show you what I mean now. So on the ruler, this is, won't say it again, Colette. Oh, I'll, have to, I'll scroll up later and see what you said. Don't worry, Sandra. We know you wouldn't say anything bad. What did you say? I'm 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 gonna have a look. No, look now. Oh, I know what you mean. I know what you mean. <laughs> Sorry, ladies, I'm falling asleep here. Have had a little, very busy day moving my daughter. We'll watch later. Oh, okay, Lynn. That's okay, my dear. Right, okay, so. I hope I'm not making you fall asleep. The first line is two centimetres. Now, if I did it inches, it wouldn't even make one inch up. So it's two centimetres. I'm going to raise you down a little bit. So, Chris's ruler is a bit funny. So, you just count the numbers, as I've been told. So, that's mm -hmm. two centimetres. Then, from the first line to the second line, it's ooh, five and a half centimetres. Five and a half. So, you draw, draw a line of five and a half. Then, it's two centimetres again. Then it's five and a half, and then that should be a, just over a centimetre that end bit. So I'm now going to do the same on here so I can score them the same time. Uh, 
I think we all know that, Sanji. You're doing very well translating. You, you do, Sanji. Your English is absolutely superb, you know. I know what you meant. It's okay. It's fine. Honestly. It's okay. Do you know when I was driving today, do you know what came on? Uh, everything, little thing, gonna be alright. I said, don't worry about a thing. Cause every little thing is gonna be alright. Right, where's my scoring board? Chris, have you had my scoring board? Chris, have you had my scoring board? Scoring board, um... And while you can't find it, I have some more tape around here. It's usually under there, but I can't find it. I just had my scoring board again. So I'm going to put some tape on the other side. Now, I will, what I will do is I'll make sure that this tape. Um, I, if there's any sort of corners that won't stay down, then I will go over it with a glue. Um, this nice glue thing I picked up. It's like a wet glue. It's not the glue gun I'm on about. I have put the glue gun on. That's not what I'm going on about. Let me put this in there. Don't you think it was well worth waiting for your car? I love how happy you are. Put a smile on my face. Oh, bless. Oh, thank you, Sonja. Shirley says, can I ask what you're making? First of all, thank you, Sonja. I'm very, very happy, lady. Um, I, It was worth the wait, don't get me wrong. I just... I just wished I hadn't waited that long for it because I would have had our summer's gone now, you. Um, I would have had the car in the summer. But saying that, me and Chris are planning on going away for a weekend with the car. So not going too far. Um, about an hour, an hour, about an hour's drive from us, hours. So I'm planning on doing that. So. Not too far. That's what we're planning on doing soon. Now, what am I asking? Shirley just said to ask me. You are right. Right. Um, what am I asking? I am making um, a gift box. I'm doing the outside. Um, the little... This was originally... Oh, it will be a matchbox. What I've done is I've take it, took it apart... Because if you do it all in one, A, it becomes too complicated to put the paper on. And B, by the time you go to put the paper on, you end up with loose corners, as I like to call them. Basically, where the corners don't stick to the tape. Um, and that's what you end up having. So, what I've done is I've took the matchbox apart... Um, I'm going to decorate the inside, but we're going to work on the outside as well. Um, and I've got some new colours to play with, um, which I'll explain in a second. Now, that is actually scored. I'm going to make my lines. She has a swim... She has to swim... A lot, Angie. You can come and see me. Oh, how well, exciting. So, yeah, it is really exciting, Sonja. So, we were thinking about going to um, either Tembe or Devon for the weekend. Has anybody ever heard of them? So that's the first one done. Let me just do the second one. Once I get to stick this on, we'll, we can start, I can start showing you my new colours and how to use them. And what I'm going to be using them with. 
so I'll stick around to wait to see that too oh and I am going to be putting um because I can't remember what I made I didn't even know whether I came on Tuesday did I come on did I come on Tuesday do a live Tuesday evening with you all I don't think I did oh yeah no I don't think I did I might be totally baffled. I don't think I did right so I've scored those lines and I've creased the folds this down right I'm going to move back to this now so we want the inside now this is oh get rid of this I don't need that clat I don't need that right I'm going to take the tape now off the inside I'm going to leave the outside for a second so yeah I am so happy Chris looks so relaxed in the passenger seat And I've been on the motorway, well, today would have been three times. Been on the motorway three times since having my car. And like I say, I quite I quite enjoy driving. It's, for me, it's driving is more than driving. It's the independence that comes with it. I have been watching that too, Shirley. What have you been watching? I have been watching Hunchy P most of the day. Tried to make the flowers but had a mask. Oh, bless. Well, I've been watching Angie Paisy. I was watching Angie Paisy while I was at the sea earlier. Um, and Angie Paisy has set me a challenge to do. She set me the basket to do. And Angie, I said to Angie, because she said to me, Clep, when are you going to do your basket? There's no rush, but I was just thinking, when are you going to do it? And I said, well, I don't really want to start until I have my colours. Um, so my colours came through the door today. So I've got no excuse now. So I'll be start starting that soon. Well, make sure your paper lines up with those edges because you miss one mince miss it out a little bit it'll throw the whole lot off now i don't know whether anybody can see can you see my paper gleaming on that side and that tells me that my paper isn't stuck down properly so i don't know whether i'm going to be able to get that up let me see if I can, a little bit will see yeah so that might do it because it's on the inside if that was the other side i don't think i would do it i love making them it's nice to have lovely feedback from you lovely ladies are you going to film the basket collect well i am um like you say once i put this together now i'm going to show you the colors that i've received because i'm going to be playing around with the colors that i've received today um I am going to be filming the basket. I want to dye some of my... I've been dyeing... I don't know whether I showed you. I did dye one of the laces purple the other night. Because I think this month I'm going through a lavender phase. Um, I, I keep telling you all I'm renaming colours. And that I am doing. But yeah, I, I think I'm going through a lavender month. Do any of you do that? Like go through colours? Come on, tape. Do any of you do that? Yes, I do, but it's not much on Shirley. It's Polly, didn't I? Still watching videos. I spent the last days in bed, so my inbox is loaded with videos. Oh, Sonja Blass. I don't have time to be sick. Too much to do. I'm going to stick this down. 
Have you used the la how was the lavender pouch, Angie? Right, now I've stuck that both sides with the cardboard in the middle. So, to reinforce those lines, I need my scoring board again. Just to reinforce those lines, because if I don't, this is not going to fold properly. Now, it is going to be tough because you've got card between sandwich between your two paper and you can make this um without getting a matchbox like i say i have given you the dimensions you can make your own and do this one right now that I'm going to fold them a little bit more to help them. That is my box. See? See what difference that makes with the inside being done. You could sort of see where I'm going. So I'm going to get rid of the tape and the bits of tape I've got around me. Now I'm going to use my inks to ink this up. Right, move this. I'm gonna use my if I can find it. Where's my instrument? Right, bear with me guys because I can't find my inks now. Oh, I can't find Lady, you want to have to put up with me next week and I'll be gone. I have been dying tea bags. Oh, wow. I'm going to do a purple and lavender on my love sign. The pouch smells amazing. I have hung it in my video bracelet so I can smell it all the time I'm crafting. Good luck with your crafting show. Chris, do you know where my... Ink oh, there they are. Right in front of me. Yes. He just shouted, yeah, ba -da, ba -da. right. So, vintage photo and all that. And I'm gonna do a bit of pink on this because pink and lavender. Go. So, I'm gonna use my little brush to do this. I'm gonna do um, pink first because you always start off with a light color no matter what you're doing, okay? And I'm just gonna go around those edges. And reinforce the pink on each side just to give and touch the colors up do you know what I think I might instead of the brush Here we are. See? Can you see the pinks? Now this is called this pink that I'm using. I mean we're gonna go around I'm just doing the inside for the minute. Outside I am gonna be um dyeing my I'm gonna be doing some flowers on the outside and I'm gonna use my colours when we're gonna create like a little flower scene this little pink dye is called soft pink i'm going to use my vintage photo now this is the inside after all Claire, will you show us how you did the tea bags oh yeah cause you've seen that on i've been dying tea bags will i show you how i've dyed the tea bags of course i will um there's a couple of things that i've been requested to do one of them being um angie paisy asked me to do um well i shared something with angie paisy and that was making a flower out of a tea bag and angie said well would you like me to show you guys how i've done that so i might even use that in tonight's live everybody can remember that so when you put a little touch on the edge, not too much because I don't want to over flood it. 
Now what I'm going to do, I'm not going to put sticky back on this. I'm going to use my glue gun. Now, if my glue gun, my glue gun should be on. Um, I don't know. I know my little things around you somewhere. But my table's so full of goodies that I don't know where it's gone. And I don't want to keep you guys waiting for every little thing. So if you hear me, ouch, it's because of me burning. So figure out which way you want this to go. Do you want it to go that way? Or what I quite like is putting the short end in the inside. So you've then done your thing. But because I did a little bit too much, I overhang it, didn't I? Remember the paper didn't quite match up. I'm just going to cut that down. So it's all nice and neat. And then I'm going to go over with my dark pad. Right, so start again now. Some ink, some glue on this side, the short side. And then close it. Now, because this is a box, if you sort of bend it so it's flat, so all I've done is box like that and push this side where you're glued down, you can then press your glue together to bond it. I dyed some bits of lace with a fruit tea bag, raspberry and something. Raspberry and was it crumb? Was it the one that I introduced you to, Polly? Thought I would get pink, but not keen on the colour when I dyed it. I'll show you how. I'll, I'll do some tea bags tonight. Since you got me in the mood. Polly, do you know tea called Harvest Forest? It's like a reddish colour when you add hot water. I bet that'll turn pink. Right, so I've got the outs I've got the inside and the outside now all done. Now, my little drawer isn't finished as of yet. Um... So to do the draw, again, this is all done by, now it's totally up to you. You can either take it all apart, which I'm going to do in a second. It's really easy and nothing rips because all they've done is they put it together like so. Come on. Right, so you get that. And all I'm going to do, because I just want the inside of it done, my thing pit. So all you need to do is the, this bit, let me show you with a pencil. Put my pencil back. Is this bit, right? This bit and this bit. Don't worry about those tabs because you won't see them. And you need to do this bit, of course. But you won't see the tabs, so don't panic about them. Um, I'm going to do that the inside. I think that would match. Yeah. Now you can use fabric. Wow. So, all you do is, now because I want two the same, so pick your two papers that you want. If you want them the same, now this is double sided, it always helps if you've got double sided paper. Either that, if you haven't, stick your, say this isn't double sided now, this is only one side, stick your two sides together, right, pin it with a pin, any normal pin will do, like this kind of a pin, and then cut it that way. So what I mean is, because where I'm only after that side, I'm going to pin it there. Oh, I'm just going to pin it there, but be careful of that pin the other side. Now you can bring it back through, but I'm not going to. And you just pin it both sides. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this out. Draw, I'm going to draw around 
I think that would be the easiest way to do it. You coming to say hello to the ladies, Chris? Hello. You can. Give me a minute then. I'm going to take that off. And I'm just going to cut this as I got it. Then when I... Um, there. What's everybody saying, Chris? Uh, hi, Sandra. She just said hello to me. She doesn't want to speak to you. <gasps> she does want to speak to me. What? Well, um, that a mention. Oh god, here we go. Uh, this poly now. Whoa, I'm in trouble. That doesn't sound good. But a mention <gasps> to make sure the paper is not too thick or draw a bit of a box might not slide back. Oh in. no, uh, this paper isn't thick. I know what Polly's saying to me. Um, yes, that is right. If you use too thick of a paper, the box won't shut. I've had that trouble in the past before. But it's trial and error. It's sort of... This paper isn't thick, but if you're going to use the card, bear in mind that this card is... No, that you, you've already got card. I'm only sandwiching it. This is double-sided paper after all. And I'm... I might even make the little box with this paper. I might not even make it with this card yet. I think I'll make it with the paper. Well, it's the same as sometimes when you know when you paint something. When you paint something that's already made and then you try and put it back together, it's, it's pretty similar. It, 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 you, you kind of got that snugger fit. It, it takes a while to... I know what she's trying to say. I know what Polly's trying to say too. Oh, yeah. Watch my phone. oh, he's going now. Bet he, we need to be back. Claire's better mention. Hi, Chris. Yes, you're right about the paint. See? See? I thought he was going. I thought I was going. Yeah, I am. Mm -hmm. I just heard, oh, you think that you're clever, are you? No, I said somebody's talking. Um, Polly. Yeah. I'm just going to cut that there, if I can see it. It's really, really hard. You could do it instead of a pencil. If you're struggling like I am, because I've done only on pattern paper, you could do it on pen. So all I'm going to do now is I'm going to fold these lines first. The way those folds meet, fold. I might even make it with this yet. I think I will. Just to be that bit different. And I, you know, by the time you put the little gift in, it could be anything. You could... I like... I'll tell you what I like. When, you know when you receive something, and I don't receive it very often, but when you've received something from the jewellers, and it's all packaged nice, and they've put it in like the real pretty boxes and then sometimes they'll put a ribbon around it and or, you know it'll be really really pretty whatever it is I like the fact that somebody's gone to that much effort that they've taken to um create that and that for me is like wow so when I package something up like today um like for example when I was packaging Angie's parcel together I actually packaged um, you know made all those pretty packaging now all I've done is I've made a crease from that end to that end and I'm just going to fold all these little tags I might make it out of this paper yet I don't think I'll make it out of that card I'll use the card as my template but I don't think I'll make it out of that card the inside and again with this side and then to enforce those creases that I made by just folding, I'm just going to quickly score 
lines down here. Mm, there. So, do you guys think I've got some new cosmetic shimmers? What type of things, what type of um, medium of colour do you think I have purchased? And that arrived today. Any any guesses as to as to what? I loved all the package, and I'm going to take the inspiration from you. Oh bless! It's really easy to do, Angie. It is easy, honestly. Right, follow their line. So I, you know, I scored all the way down, and I've scored across. Now these little tabs at the top. What I've done is I've scored there. Now I need to score there. I'm just going to do these with my folds. And score there. So that be those two folds. And then the same with this one. Score there. So there's three folds all together of those little tabs. And then the box goes. Let's see. Yeah. So, like that first. So I'm going to put double sided paper on you, double sided tape, sorry, on these little tabs. Right, does anybody, blue and lavender, I loved all, you re, yeah, I am using blue and lavender. Does anybody know what type of medium of paint I've got? I'm going to use, well, I bought, mm, like, four colours so oh, I don't know yet we'll see what colours we we get to I'm just going to cut these down I want to buy a couple of those cosmetic shimmers want to get a lavender one I'm hooked onto that colour thanks to someone on you um <laughs> I'm with Sonja you think I've gone purple and lavender. Mmm, okay, okay. Well, I have... I know how expensive the cosmetic shimmer sprays can be. I have a cheaper option. Apart from doing it um, yourself. And I've tried to make cosmetic shimmer. And it, it, honestly, make, me making a mess to mind not me making cosmetic shimmers um and poor shaz 023 she did try and teach me bless her but uh i just couldn't i just couldn't get to grips with it so so you want your little tabs there put that that will fold in like so i've done that on the wrong side Never mind, never mind. Mine can go like that instead of, okay? Never mind. Then the other ones, so I'm going to have, you're supposed to have your tabs fitted like so, like that. But this one, because I've done it on the wrong side, it will now go on the inside. And then that will go like that. So I'm going to put a little bit more. So, oops, and I am going to make, tonight I'm going to make um, some tea bag flowers. So, I just need to do the inside of this box first. Did you buy eyeshadow on super glue and school glue well, when I made my own? Hmm. Or do you mean when my thing materials that I've used? Um, I bought. Hmm, right, let me work this out now because otherwise I'm going to mess it up. Du, 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 du. Yeah, that's all right to go under there. And then I'm going to stick. 
So I've stuck that under there. Come on. And I'm going to stick, because I want this to be tucked in. So I need some more on that side. To make cosmetic shimmers. Um, to make cosmetic shimmers, I think you've got to buy mica. Um, I did try using it with normal um, eyeshadow, but apparently if you use, I don't know, if you use mica, it's the mica eyeshadow, it's the really, um, it's the really, really shiny eyeshadow, come on, tape, um, that creates, you know, Right, so I've got my two sides now, right? Like so. Is my two sides. Okay. Now, these little tabs, they go in like that. And that comes over. And then this little tab is supposed to stay out. You can... I don't know whether I'm going to tuck mine in. So, by, by that I mean like this. No, it needs to go flat okay so these little tabs now they are a pain to do all you need to do is some double-sided tape on that side some double-sided tape on this side we'll get there now we'll get there some double-sided tape on this side and some double-sided tape on this side. So these are your little tabs, okay? Then with this, this long, this short gale tab, I'm gonna put some on these little tabs so we do it together on each section. Because otherwise we're gonna get confused. Now, because I this was cut on the end of the on, on the end of the paper. What's going to happen is when I, let me just cut that down, it's not cut enough. When I go ahead and cut that in, what's going to happen is you're going to see that white. Now, if you didn't want to see the white, and I might get away with just cutting it off. Okay, I'm going to do those little tabs first. So, some on this side, some on this, oh sugar, that side, some on this side, and then some on the other side. Or did you buy texture paste, nice strong sides and ends, they have a nice, they have mica in it. Um, right, I tried to make my own. And what I got told was, if you use mica, so the real shiny eyeshadow, glue, school glue, so the PVA based, um, water, and I think colour is what I got told. Um, then you you can you can create your own shimmer mist. But what I created was a total mess. Um, I don't think I had... I didn't have the right eyeshadow. Um, and it's the eyeshadow that makes the... The... Um, mica. Apparently. But I didn't have the right eyeshadow. So I, I couldn't tell you if it works. Because I, as, I, as I haven't made it, I don't know. Oh, sugar, come on, right. So, I'm going to go with this end first. Tuck your ends in. I've taken the double-sided off. Tuck your ends in. Bring. It is going to get fiddly. But once it's sealed, it's sealed. I like I say, if you were going to use the... If I was going to use the, the one that was already with the box, what would have happened... I'm just going to fold that over... And that creates our side. 
see what happens is if I was to use that one that was already in the box and I put paper on there now it can either like Polly said it can either get too thick and that creates your that would, would well it would either do two things it would either get too thick and you'd end up with you'd end up with something that was too thick that you couldn't use that you couldn't put in this or it would become too um i'm just gonna cut now let me work it out oh yeah i'm gonna cut this off or what you're gonna have to do is you put your paper down you you cut it all out you you draw it around you cut it out and then you've got your paper on that side and then you do the same on that side and then you go and put all the box together but to me a that's too fiddly and b i would be there forever just trying to make the inside of the box i would much rather um use that as my template see i quite like now i, I, I don't know whether i'm the only person that does this but I quite like taking things apart, seeing how something's made, and then doing putting my own spin on it and putting it back together. Now, nine times out of ten, um, it it works. I can put things back together. No, I wouldn't say nine times out of ten. Sometimes it works. I can put it back together, and sometimes I've taken it all apart and I've forgotten which way it goes what. So, if you're going to take something apart, my words are, just make sure that you can remember how it goes. And that is my inside of the box. Without any cutting, really. Done. So, I'm going to put all this aside now, these papers, while you admire that. Oops. Come on. And I'm going to, we need the tea bags. I'm going to get those colours that I was on about. See those, that, that's my box and it's double sided. There it goes. Right. Right. Okay. Now, like I say, this is my little box. And it fits in perfect. See? Do, 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 do. It fits. And now I've got a template to make another one. That's a great inside the box. Going to look lovely. I hope it's going to look lovely, Polly. Right, so now I've made the inside. I'm just going to push that in slightly. Leave a little gap. Because what will happen if you push it all the way in, you no doubt you're going to might break it to pull it apart. I bought these stencils these dies i think they're called from ebay i can't remember the seller as i haven't got my phone unless chris has taken my phone no i haven't got my phone um but i bought them from ebay they didn't cost that much i think they were with the leaf on the rose for my cuddle bug and you can use them on a big shot um they were something like six pound five six pound so i've used the i haven't used the rose i'm going to use the leaf and that's what you saw me doing right at the beginning was cutting some of the leaves out and these are what they look like when they're cut out okay because we want a few to go on here now i'm going to make a, a display um i need my flowers now for my flowers i have i'm going to use some foam flowers um, I'm going to use some of these dainty flowers. I'm going to use some raffia because I think different textures give you different, um, will give you a different look. So I'm going to use some brown, oops, brown raffia for some of this. And um, let me think. I want some more leaves. I know I've cut some out, but different leaves again give you different textures. Now, because I'm using, I'm going to be using purple, and I'm going to be using 
like a blue greenish type colors i want to see if i can mix my colors up so I get a real good range of colors around you right so that is roughly where i'm going with my colors i think my flowers i mean um let me see if there's any more in here that i need that's roughly it now those are my flowers i'm gonna take my leaves one two three four and i'm gonna pull the heads off these because i won't need the the wire as of yet and uh, we're gonna give it five of them i'm gonna leave these white because i don't want to be spraying everything i'm gonna leave them as they are um i have got some paper ones that i want to play about with and then if i move this um these up the way i'm gonna get my pad so bear with me right now this is my this is my watercolor pad right bear with me i'm still here but he's still with me. Oh god. Right. Now I'm gonna use some of these daisies. I want some of these daisies that have already got some of the colour on them, and I don't want to use too much um too many of these. I've run out, I think I've run out of the white ones. And I'm going to pull the back off and pull the middle off so I get the middle bits. I'm going to use a few of these because they're quite nice to play about with. Uh, let's see if we've got any whites. I've got some more of these. Now I have got the darker pinks in you, but I think... We can have a go and see what the colour brings. It's all about playing with your what you've bought at the end of the day. Now I, I'm going to show you the colours I bought. But I'm going to... I bought two sets of things to play with my colours. The one thing I bought was... I, um, if you're on my Facebook group, you'll notice I've been playing about with watercolour pencils. Um, I've had my pencils for years just going to take a few more out um and i been playing about with watercolor pencils did you get the daisies on ebay clap right as i go along if there's anything that i haven't said like i know son is it was sonja that asked me that polly okay if there's anything that i haven't said Right. Okay. One question at a time. If I have, if I haven't, if if I haven't said where I've got it from, just stop me in my tracks and I'll answer it as I go along. Because I won't. I know I won't be able to remember to tell you everything. So if I haven't told you where I've got something from, or where something is from, then t tell me and I'll be able to show you. Now the daisies I actually got off eBay. I bought um. They're not expensive and what you do, the the come in a pack of a hundred. I bought um, light pink, dark pink and white. They are about, again, I don't know without my phone, so let me find them on my phone first. I know Angie's just bought some, so if Angie, if you can find them before I can, that will be a really good help. Um, Daisy flowers. Can't find them. On eBay, there we are. Thank you, Angie. Can you remember how much they are? Get a, ba get a butterfly. Daisies, Gerabata, G E R B E R A. Daisies, that's what they're called. And like I say, I bought light pink, dark pink, and white. 
and I had them in a pack of a hundred. They're not expensive. They're about three, four pounds for a pack. Um, can't, yeah, three sixty-five for a hundred. Thank you, Angie. <laughs> Thank you. Um, I should have been more organised, really, and I didn't realise somebody was going to ask me for the daisies. Um, but I love using them. There's loads of things you can do with them. Now, how to take one apart? I'm going to get another one. This is a white one. Probably the only white one I have got left. What you do is you scrunch the, the actual daisy in one hand. So you've got that in one hand. You pull the back off it, right? Then you take the middle out and then usually there's two sort of petal daisies in one flower. What I would use these for, now Angie Branch just asked me, the back, well, I haven't found any use for them as of yet, but I've kept a few and the others have gone in the bin. Now that's not to say there isn't going to be a use for them, that's to say I haven't found a use for them. If you have, let me know because, you know, at the end of the day, I hate throwing things away. These little things you can use as little toadstools for little fairy gardens. They're the perfect size and, and they're like furry on the top, so they're perfect. And all you would need to do is paint them. So that's what they're for. So um, that's what I would use it for. Now, I've got a quite a variation of daisies on here. Now, what I've bought is... Hmm, did I have it? Let me see. I'm just going to find how much something is because I know you guys are going to say, where did you get them from? How much were they? Um... Oh god, oh, there we are. Right, these are my little investment. They are what I call they that what they call watercolour brushes, pens. They no no paint, there's no water well there is water, but it's all controlled. You don't have to keep going for your brushes because what you get in a pack is 20 colours now they're in like a little sealed bag and they're called um watercolour drawing painting brushes i'll tell you exactly where to get them from in a second and i'll tell you how much they are as well so they come in um sort of a a, a rubber th um a plastic seal box and when you pull them out you get all the colours and then you get so these are the colours put this to the side mm, let me move you up because you can't really see there we are those are the colors that you get so you can see that you get a load of variation of colors you also get one of these now this isn't a color as you can notice it's absolutely plain from the rest what you do is now i'm going to demonstrate on this little bit of water watercolor pad that i've got next to me say we're going to get out pink what you do is, this is to put your water in. This would act as your little water pot or your water brush or that that's what it would act as. I'm going to tell you where to get it from in a second and how much it is. They're not expensive to buy. So what you do, you untwist it. Now, I had Chris to do this for me this morning because it it's... If you live in the UK, we always say lefty, loosey, righty, tighty. These actually come from America and it doesn't apply when you unscrew this. So when you unscrew the cap, you go the opposite way. Okay. Now you unscrew the cap and you get the two ends. You take the black bit off the top and you put cold water in the bottom. You then screw it back on right way, clad. Mm -hmm. Again, opposite way because it, I don't know why, but opposite way. We're going to test it with a... Now, I've been playing about with this all morning. You get... Um, I'm going to get my pink. Now, I'm going to reach down like slightly. And when you paint with these brushes, you just paint. And as you can see, 
the colour is starting to build, right? But these are what's excellent with them. You can shade it by using just one. So pull the top of this one, and this is a squeeze. So if you squeeze the top with your two fingers, out comes water, right? Now you can't see it because it's white on white. But if I was to put it on the colour and then do it, now you can see that the colour is, well, if you've got that on a painting, you can get it two different shades. Now, now that's pink, right? Get your pen again. And this is what I like about it. And use your pen on the water. And then you sort of get two different shades just by using the one colour. So this is the first investment I use. Now you can use these on anything. They're watercolour based. So this would act as your paint with your water in. Now, how much are they? This is what they're called on eBay. Now they're running out really quick. How did I come across them? I came across them on, you know when you go on Facebook and you see these advertisements? I love watercolours, I love using them and these this was just the perfect thing for me. So this is what it looks like and this is what it's called. It's called 20 Colours Art Oil Watercolour Drawing Painting Brush Sketch Mega Pens That New. So if you just type in watercolour pens it'll come up like that. It's 10 99 free postage and they're really quick when they deliver. And let me go down and I'll find you the seller. Now this is the seller. You need to go to the numbers on the end. I know you can't really see the letter and I am trying to get the camera to um, focus. It's T-E-C-Z-E-374-70. -E and that's where you get the watercolour pens from. Does everybody get that? Now you've all gone quiet, so I'm presuming you will watch what I'm doing. So I'm going to move this to one side a second. And I'm going to test it on one of these petals. So again, use your water. And I'm just going to wat watercolour the, the petals. So my petal now is wet. I'm going to take my pink... And I'm just going to go round the edges with my pink pen. But because I'm going to use pink and purple, I'm not going to be, I'm not going to put too much pink on, but just enough that you're going to see the colour, right? I'm going to get my purple. And I'm just going to go in the tips and the ends. Right, use your brush and I'm just going to go on the tips of it too. So can you see? how we've got this started off as a, a pink and a white we've now got a, a pinky purple and I'm just going to take some water and I'm going to drag those colours through the petals into the centre and that will give me a two toned colour right so I'm going to continue doing this in a second I'm going to do it to too many because we won't need that many but I will do this one. Now this one's got a touch of pink on the ends. So I don't want to go crazy with the colour because it's already got pink on the ends. It's the inside. What you could do is wet your petals first before you begin. Now I'm going to go just halfway up of my purple. And I'm going to use, in my colour set tonight, I'm going to use blue and purple instead of all purple put the lid on this and I'm going to get a light blue say put 
could use them on pom-poms then. You can use them on anything. use them on anything that's what makes them so diverse because you can use them on anything then the the colors are endless the limitations are endless and you at the end of the day you get some really nice colors now i've got a blue one now um, I'm going to do a few more, not many, because like I say, we won't need many because they're going on top of our matchbox at the end of the day. But I will do, I'm just going to wet these leaves. And I'm going to do two different shades now of blue. So I'm going to start off with the inside of the blue, with the light blue. And then I'm going to stick the lid back on these. And I'm going to go on the outside, on the edges, with dark blue. And because it's got that pink already, that will give me a different colour again. See? They just, it's just all about, at the end of the day, playing about with your colours. Um, like I say, I'm not going to, I'm going to do two more and then I'm going to, um, use my other colour set that I've got. My turnip and then and then I'm going to do some dark blue I think. And you can buy the refills for these as well. So say your colours and your pens runs out, you can buy the refills on them. So they don't always... Hello, just realised you were on. Hi, Sharon. So you can always buy the refills for them. See? How we've got, like, really nice colours. I'm going to do one more. I think I'm going to do another one for uh, pink and purple. Why not? Why not? Are you all still there? Are you all still watching me? <laughs> if you are. I'm going to do pink and purple one more. And then I'm going to show you. Oh, we'll do pink and purple. I'm going to do one more, I think. So I'm going to do the inside pink. And then the outside purple. Right. Do, 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 do. And there's the other one. Now, I haven't completely painted that one, so those are my watercolour paint brushes and pens. Okay, I'm going to put all these to the side, the ones I haven't dyed, to the side. Yes, I'm still watching, we're also still watching football. Hi, Charlotte. Right, okay, so I've got five of my colours by here, and I'm going to use them on my matchbox, so I'm not bothered by that. Now my foam, my foam pens. Now, I'm going to use, oh, where's my light? I'm going to use my um, pens for these and I'm just going to go around the edges quickly. Not, not being fussy about doing like the complete sides with these because what will happen is when I use my other colour set which I bought that arrived really fun to play about with which i'll show you in a second see i get that effect um i'm gonna put the lid on this and i'm gonna use blue because i'm we're going for blue and purple so i'm gonna try and mix it up a bit
the other colour set. Now, I know cosmetic shimmers hmm, are really expensive. Do you, has anybody found the cosmetic shimmers to be expensive? Love the rose, really, really nice. Thank you, Sonja. Right, blue, purple. This is black. I've done a black rose. in the mind. I'm glad it's black in a way because I'll be able to add my own colour to it now. It shouldn't be black, but it is. And even more. Right, let me try this purple. Like the roses. Yes, because mention they are expensive. Right, I found a cheaper way to get them. Rather than making them, I have found a cheaper way to um to get them. The same look. The other ones that I found are um I'm gonna do a blue on that one. Oops. One more guys, I promise you I'm not gonna be watching paint dry forever. Have I done that? Uh, I've done the same blue. My hands are now look, see. If your hands are ever like this after you've dyed something, did you buy the water brush separate and did it come with the set? Right, the the yeah, I'm guessing you're on about the when they you put the water in. Um it came with the set. Um it just comes loose at the when you open the pack, it's just tucked in under uh, it's just tucked under the set. And that's how I did it. Um, right. So, yeah, it comes with the set. Right. So, those are my roses. Those are my flowers I've dyed. Right. But I haven't done anything to the leaves. Right. Now, what I'm going to do with these leaves is... I'm going to... And now I've got my cosmetic shimmers out. I'm going to use my shimmers. But I'm not going to use them as spray. And the reason I'm not going to use them as spray, where's my vintage rose gone? I'm going to use vintage rose for this. I'm not going to use them as spray because I've got something else in mind. Um, where's my brushes gone? Now I bought myself some new brushes. I sort of used them on a project. I hate to think what that project was, but I did. I used them on a project, so... Let's do a fan one. It'll give us two different textures. I'm just dipping my brush in slightly. And then I'm going to... Actually, no, do you know what? I've just had a thought. I'm going to do what I did the other day. I'm not going to... I want to just get the base colour on, just for now. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my other colour set that I got. And the last one. I didn't know where the seat. Sometimes when you do painting you think, oh, shall I, shall I show how I've done it? Or will, is it going to be too sort of repetitive they're going to be too boring and i think sometimes think no i won't show i won't show it because that's the whole idea when you're crafting you don't really skip how you've done your painting you just do it so i'm using a fan brush to put the color on my leaves 
um, and I'm not bothered whether it goes on the sides and just want a base layer. Now, I've used vintage rose. I just need a little bit more. Right. Come on. Right, those are my leaves, all done, okay? Now, this is what I mean by my colours. I'm going to take these out because I won't need them at the minute. I bought, this is my trick. Okay, because I have a few of these colour brushes, but no water brush. Oh, well, you could use um, just a normal paintbrush and water. You didn't necessarily have to use the brush, but it does come with it. Right, haven't used them. Right, these are what I bought. Forget cosmetics, these are what I bought. They are these. These are the bottles. And they're called Watercolour Spray Paint with a Shimmer, Glimmer and Mist Effect. Now, these give you the same thing as cosmetic shimmer. It gives you the shimmer. It gives you the mist effect. But these are actually watercolour based. So, with the cosmetic shimmer, you're getting the shimmer and the colour. With these, you're getting the mist, the colour and the shimmer. And it's watercolour. So, if you wanted to use it on your watercolour paints or you're doing something with watercolours, you can use these. I use shimmer mist on my tape bags. Was that right, Clat? Tape bags. I use shimmer mist. Yeah, this these might be them. I know it's gone really quiet. Right, these are two pounds seventy nine. They're on offer on eBay at the minute. Now the colours I have are burgundy, move. It's like a lavender colour. White. And pale blue. Okay. Now, with them all painted with the vintage rose, the shimmer vintage rose. I'm going to spray these on. So I'm going to spray, because I want my box to have some sort of colour on, I'm going to spray my blue on. Now, the further away you are, the more the more effect you're going to get if you're close so let me show you on my pad i know it's boring but it's it's the boring stuff right that's where you're going to get if you're close if you're away that's where you're going to get so can you see the difference you're going to get more of a, co of a coverage so what i'm going to do is i am now i've been playing with these all day if you want to build your colors you start off with light colours and then you gradually build it up. So, because I want my two of my leaves, not all of my leaves, to have a blue in them. And then the other two I'm going to have lavender in. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to spray it. And it's giving me the blue effect on them, right? And you think, oh, don't know whether I like that. That's what your white's there for. So... Right, let me, I'm going to dry that off for you to see what I mean. Everybody's gone really, really quiet. Rewatch. Polly, you can rematch concentrating. Get the tray a minute and I'll show you what I mean. Now. Right. That is the colour you get. Now, it does shimmer. Can you see the shimmer? The light's catching it. You are intriguing, Claire. I'm intriguing. Is that why everything's gone quiet? Now, I'm going to spray this one. I'm going to dry this one again. And because you sprayed it, you're never going to get two leaves exact. Now, I like 
playing with leaves and I like the fact that when you play with your colours, especially on leaves, hi Dawn, you're going to get, oh god, my fingers are burning, you're going to get two, you're never going to get two leaves the same. So look, now I sprayed them, you watch me do the same colour, but you're never going to get two leaves exactly the same. So those are my blue ones, what we're going to call blue ones. If I stick the other two in here, let me just wipe all this away. Right, so I'm now back to square one. Um, I'm going to use my... I'm going to build these colours. So, they're brown. I'm going to put some burgundy on them, on your tiny bit. Right, and then I'm going to put some lavender on. And then, to bring the colour out of both, I'm going to splash a bit of white on. And you'll see the colour starting to emerge. And they've almost gone like, um, well, like colour sh should go, really. And it looked beautiful on your projects. Absolutely stunning. Right? I wish I could show you in the light because these, the, the, the shimmer on these are gorgeous. Now, another trick for you. If you wanted to bend your leaf while it's drying, put it around something that's round, use your heat gun, like, like, can you tell us the name of the sprays again please? I can, and I can tell you where to get them from as well. I can say they're a lot cheaper than cosmetic and you still get the same look. Right, and look, now, I'm going to move my tray out of my way. Oh, my way. And I'm going to show you what we've got. So we've got them. Okay. I'll show you the colours I've got and I'll show you where to get them from. So can you see the fact that we've got blues? And can you see the colour difference? And if you shine in a certain way, you can see the shimmer on them. They're absolutely gorgeous. Now I'm going to try and do some of my daisies, but I'm not going to colour them because we did we coloured them with the watercolours, didn't we? What I will do um, is spray them with the white. So I'm just going to dash them in. Is I thought I did five years, yeah, did. Dash them in. I'm going to spray them with just with white. And again, further away, the better you are. Now, where to get them from? They are called... Um, I'll tell you what they're called now. They won't take long to dry either. See? They will not take long to dry. Can you see the white on that? So those are my leaves. Um, now, I'm not good. My foam roses are different colours, of course they would be. Um, so I'm going to do, what I'm going to do is, with the, with the purple, I'm going to spray the blue. And I haven't sprayed that too much. Right, with the dark blues, I'm going to spray the white again. And I'm going to pick it up for the blue as well. Now, these are called Watercolour Glimmer Mist Spray. That's what they're called, and you can get them from eBay. They come in a range of different colours. 
and they would look awesome on any project. So I'm going to put the lids back and then I'm going to show you because I've got the receipt in front of me. But I've got four bottles. But the, the more colours you get, the more you sort of can sit there and play about with. I hope I've sort of explained that well. These are sort of four colours. Beautiful. They are. Um, they definitely are. And the thing is, can you imagine having that white mist, especially the white mist? And you think, oh, white, that's not going to come out because it's white. But the thing is, if you were to use that on a Christmas card, it would pop. Now, these is what they're called. They're called Watercolour Glimmer Mist Spray. And they are £2.79. And they're actually 20% off at the moment. And you can get them off eBay. I'm going to try and get the seller up for you. Because I know you guys will appreciate that. Um, I think it's these. Yeah. So these are the colours you're looking for. That's what the bottle looks like. It's £2.79. The £2.42. But what he did, he combined the postage for me. So all I... Pardon. All I paid for the four bottles was £2.39 postage. So 20% off as well. And then the seller is actually called Cuddly. So C-U-D-D-L-Y underscore underscore B U D D L Y, and then the number is four two six four five six. So I'll repeat that. So it's cuddly C U D D L Y underscore B U D D L Y two six four five six, and they're excellent colours to buy. Um, you can get them in all different kind of colours. But those are the colours I've got. So I've got burgundy. Let me see the colours. White. So there's the white, and the white really picks up the colours. The burgundy, which is the brown, the pale blue, and the mauve, M-U-V-E. And Angie, do you remember I said I'm not going to start the basket until my colours arrived? This is what I meant by colours. So now I'm going to put the basket together. So I've done all that now, I'm going to put the basket together. Um, I'm not going to ink my edges at the minute. Because I want to stick my flowers down. Now, when I stick my flowers down, I want to be able to see everything. So, with these flowers, because all the details in the centre, I don't really want to hide it. So, would it, I'm going to put the colours. First of all, I'm going to take some leaves, dark leaves, because to mix it up a bit, okay? And I'm just going to pop a little bit of glue on here and then I'm going to pop a little bit of glue there and a little bit of glue on here right so I've got that so far then with these kind of colours because this one hasn't got too much of a mist I'm going to close this one up but I'm going to still keep the colour so I'm going to go backwards with this so close half close it and then if you roll it instead of folding it in a half you get a rose see how you get a rose the number again i can't write fast yeah give me the, <laughs> give me a zag i'll give you the number again the number again is two six four five six I'll, when I finish this video, I'll pop it in the description box underneath. So, every, and with that, that goes with the watercolour uh, paints as well. So, you all can have a, a glimmer of mist. Right, so we've got that so far. Now, this leaves looking too, too big and milky, so that's okay. I'm going to pop this one. That I sprayed, that I coloured with the watercolours, but sprayed with the the mist. I'm going to pop it there because I've got something to go in it. I think I might put some of these white ones. Right, 
Thank you both got it. I think it's 26456. Right, I the number is 26456. So I've got them in the centre. See? And it's all then all about building your colour. So I'm going to put a lavender one year now. So it goes off the other way. So if you find your leaf's too big. Play about with it because the thing is. I'm going to stick it there. Right, and then I'm going to chew. Now I've got these foam roses. I'm going to take the back one off so I get the white underneath. And I'm just going to pop him there. I'm not finished with my mist, my colour mists quite yet. And like I say, those colour mists give you exactly the same colour. Now I've got some burgundy flowers. They These are paper ones. I'm just going to take the star at the back off. Can you pass me my beads, please, Chris? Yeah. Like the, um, the ah, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm going to put that there and I'm going to stick another one. Don't yeah, just pop them on the floor. Don't pop them there because they'll fall. I'm just going to stick that there. Can you see it building? Everybody see it building? They think of your um, watercolour pens. They like the, I think they like the watercolour pens. Um, they definitely like the mists and they like the watercolour pens. Everybody like the watercolour pens? Chris bought me the watercolour pens, that's why he's asking. We did, he did indeed. I'm going to put that there and then because we've got purple, um, I don't know where the... Oh, Chris, I need one of those beady things since you're standing there. Oh, the, um, things on the windowsill. Might I use all these leaves, so we'll see. They are great pens. Yeah, they're mad, aren't they? I'm going to cut this down. Where's my scissors going? Who said they're great pens? Uh, Polly. Yeah, they look mad as well, I'm not tired. I'm just going to cut this down so I got the end. And I'm going to stick it just there. So I get the two leaves there. I'm going to get some more of these white ones. And I've left them white for a reason. Because I don't want to... Oh, don't want to over flood this a little bit. Now I have got... Right, so I've got that so far. Now, I have got these left. Because I, like I say, I didn't, I didn't do too many of these. I'm going to... I did the colour on the inside. If you take it on the outside... Put a little bit of glue there, fold it, then a little bit of glue there and roll it. Instead of fold it in half, roll it. Because it gives you a rose. And they look really, really pretty. Right. So we've got that so far. Now, uh, Chris has just passed me some of these. If you haven't got any, they're absolutely brilliant. And what I tend to use is one of those is some gold uh, metallic. Now, what I tend to do is put a little bit on your um, mat. Oh God, if you're making a mess like I am. Um, I'll be a. Thank you, they are great pens. Please remember again, I use, I've used that seller before. See? Wow. Well, I'm going to get a paintbrush out. My new paintbrushes. Now, I bought a pack of paintbrushes like these. These are nail art paintbrushes, not normal paintbrushes. Because I like the small, when I paint and I use my paintbrushes, I 
tend to like the smaller paintbrushes rather than the big clumpy ones that you can find. Now, if you just paint these balls, that didn't come out right, gold. And I think Angie asked me, what did I spray these or did I paint them? Angie, I painted them gold. I didn't spray them. I could have done. I have got gold spray. Um, we used to spray quite a lot of things gold. We used miniatures um, just for the effect on everything. But no, I didn't. I didn't spray them. I used my gold um, gold paint. See. No, I have got gold fingers. They're great pens. Everybody's gone really, really quiet. I don't know whether you're still there. If you are, let me know. Everybody's gone so quiet. I've either scared you all off. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Right, I'm going to dry these real quickly. I thank you and I did wonder I tried to spray some pearls yesterday and it didn't work no pearls don't work just gonna quickly dry these now if you use too much heat on these they will melt um and no I used gold acrylic paint just gonna quickly dry them um, and I've had my gold acrylic paint for years and years and years. Right. I'm going to cut them down and then I'm going to glue them in. So I'm going to glue some of them in. Now, when Bob blob of glue will do mostly all of them and the thing is once you've got them like that you can always cut them down which I'm about to do now right so I've got that so far now um, I have got some red moss now because I've used the colours I'm going to use a little bit of red moss just underneath where I've left a little bit of gap. Okay, now the red moss again, um, you can either pick up miniatures and they're good, great for using on your cards. They're absolutely excellent for projects like this because the thing is, it gives you that extra texture that you wouldn't normally. You know, that you wouldn't normally source and find. So I'm just going to go a little bit up here. So I've got that so far. Okay. I'm going to use all that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take... Now, I have got some of these red flowers. And all I'm going to do... Is I am going to take one and I'm going to pop it I'm going to take three actually I think I'm just going to pop one there and I'm going to pop the other one the other side I haven't done any of my spirals with my um, wire that I usually do tonight they like see now there needs to be a flower there, so I don't know whether I've used all my flowers. I don't. I think I have one, two, three, four. No, I haven't used all of them. Let's see if this will work. Tiny rose, just there. Yeah, it does. Do you think you could cut? You or you could color moss yourself? Yeah, you can. You can, I've done it before, what you do is um, you, you can buy plain moss, great, you can either buy green moss, you can buy green moss and light green moss, and what you do, you take the 
um, light green. Now it's got to be the light green or, I don't know whether I've got some here to show you, or the other moss you can find is this. It's almost like a white colour. And then you put it in a colour and you can colour yourself. So yes, you can, Angie. Thank you for asking. So I've got that now, right? But I'm not finished there. I'm going to, what I'm going to do, I'm going to put that back in my tray, which I'm going to wipe out in a second. Now, with these um, watercolour mists, you can, well, you can either spray them like I've done tonight, or you can um, use your paintbrush and do it that way if you want it. Now, I've wiped my tray out. I'm just going to place that in, and I'm going to spray just a little bit on the edges. There. That's all I wanted. Can you see that? Can you see how it's giving me like a white effect on the leaves? Not necessarily this side, but that I'm okay with. That, that I'm not bothered by that. But it gives you a nice, really a nice effect. And yes, Angie, I couldn't agree with you more. What a lovely gift box. Ow, I just burnt myself. Now I'm going to move that out of the way because I don't need that. Um, I haven't inked the edges, but you can do that if you want to. And with the handle, because you need to put a little handle on. Otherwise, you, um, you'll end up saying, I love it. Do you... We are all paying attention soon as I'll be getting coffee, thanks to my sweetheart, bless. Right, I'm going to put a little handle on the end, because if I don't, when, the thing is, when you go to push it, either at either side, what you'll end up doing, you'll either get the drawer stuck, or you'll, um, it, it'll just get stuck. So, I'm going to create a little handle, if I can find my... I don't know whether that would work. Yeah, I think this would work. Let me see. Right, so I've picked out three little, tiny little things. And what I'm thinking is... Actually, do you know what? If you... No, I'm going to leave that on there. It gives it a bit more pull when you pull it out. See? Now I've dug some of these. I've got some of my, in my little bead box here, I've got some diamantes. Tiny, tiny diamonds. See them? So I'm going to use these tiny, tiny diamonds. And I might even use the bigger, bigger versions. Just on the flowers. So let's see. Stick one in there. Oops. One there. See? And we'll stick one in there. And we might need a little big one in there. I don't like that one. That one's too big for my liking. Let's try again. That's the one I wanted. Oh, come on. There. See? Now I'm going to see if I can find another size one of that similar stick the other side now with these paper roses I've got tiny tiny diamonds
we are three will do and then what i'm gonna do on the side where's my bee buff gone do the tweezers collect yes adorable i love it angie oh bless um on the side i've got these these tiny roll these tiny flowers can anybody see them they're like almost like poly 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 clay clay flowers that's what they call and i absolutely love them and because i've done a flower scene on the top i'm just gonna fit one there one just there and one just there okay and I think uh, I think that would be me I think that would be me because if I stick any more No, that's it. I'm not doing any more. <laughs> I didn't know that you you didn't feel feel good. No getting burn fingers out your class. That is my little gift box. Um, you've got this. It's it's dry, and that's why I'm not pulling it by that. But I made that using the inside of the stencil, and as you saw, made the outside. And I've done a beautiful flower scene on the top. And that, my dears, is going um, with this. I'll show you what I'm going to do. So I'm going to stick one of these plain ones and this one inside that um, giveaway box. So you guys, if you are in the chance of winning that competition, you could also win this little gift box. And I'll put something little inside this but can you imagine using those color these these mists they're giving you the exact same thing as a shimmer cosmetic shimmer except they watercolor based and they're a mist effect and if you use that on a card can you imagine using that on a card and then spraying it white um and if like i say don't be put off by the fact it's white because white can either brighten your colors up or it can give you that sort of autumny look and it's quite a really nice colour to have um, and I'm definitely going to be buying some more so I hope you really enjoyed that um, I know it was a bit of tedious watching me paint those flowers and the leaves but um, yeah I hope you really enjoyed that and thank you all for watching let me know what did you all think let me read the last comments beautiful that's so sweet love it love it did you like the watercolour pens and the mists? What did you think of them? Because um, like I say, I've got four colours. I have the white. I have the pale blue. I have the burgundy. And I have the blue, uh, purple. And they're really nice bottles of colours to have. So I'm just going to put them there for you to see obviously the white and um obviously my watercolor pens that chris made me so uh i enjoy it thank you manji brown and uh, sonja says love them thank you sonja polly says thank you so much love the mist and the pens thank you polly and thank you to everybody that watched tonight um i hope you really enjoyed that i will like i say this and this will be going inside the box for the lucky winner to win on the 7th i have received some more flowers in the post um so if i will keep it open till the 7th because of course i'm waiting for some others to join us and like i say um yeah if any if i'm buying anything i'll always share it with you where i got it from and how much it was and i think my me personally myself i think those little mist bottles um give such a nice effect i know you know i buy the cosmetic shimmers but since these have come i can't stop using them and you can sort of see why because they give you such a nice effect 
So if you really enjoyed that, give me a good thumbs up. Um, leave a comment underneath the video. Leave comments in the chat as I'm doing lives. I always love reading the comments. Have a great weekend, Claire and Chris. Night, ladies. Night, Angie Paisy. Night, Polly. Night, Sonja. Night, all. And I will see you on Tuesday at 7 o'clock. Thank you all for watching. Take care and I'll speak to you all then. Bye now. No star.